Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat, welcoming you back to the Foggy Nelson Career Mode series. And in this episode, you'll see coverage of the fourth round of the AT&T Byron Nelson. We're here at the TPC Four Seasons Resort course outside Dallas in Irving, Texas. Foggy has been 50-50 here in Texas, winning in Houston and getting a second place runner-up in San Antonio. And he would love to make it two out of three. After round three, he was tied for second place with Patrick Reed, three behind our tournament leader, Mark Warren. Now here in the fourth round, the weather has really dried out the greens and firmed them up. So Foggy is going to have to get used to hard and fast greens real quick. Paul Casey seems to be a mover today with a seven under par through 17 holes bringing him to 10 under par. Looks to be the leader in the clubhouse. Foggy has made his way to the first tee, so let's join him there. And thank you for joining me for the AT&T Byron Nelson. And I'll see you after the round. Slow down, ball. Uh, that one's going to get there. Missed it. Finishes with a double bogey. Yeah. He's right on target with this shot. Where is that going? Come back here. Comes back a shot with Bogey there.
gets his point. Time to turn it around at the bogey there. This is carrying a lot of speed. A disappointing three putt play. That's going to be short. Not a terrible shot. Scrambles to save Park. That one is blasted down the fairway. Gotta be happy with that.
Looks like it'll move way past the home court. This one needs to slow down. Yeah, I'm going to get a speeding ticket for this one. Nine under par for the championship. Tremendous power in that swing. Under the pressure, there, sink that pretty quick. down the right. Need more club on this shot, it's going to be short. Ah, this looks good. Blow on it. It might go in. Knocks in the bogey putt and drops a stroke further back. Looks like it will find the left side of the green. Has to watch the pace of the swing. That's a bit quick on the downswing. I don't think this is going to get them.
It's looking good. Ooh, it's looking really good. If that backswing was any shorter, it'd be part of his follow-through. No power there at all. This one looks like it might find the sand. That's delightful. May have rushed the downswing on that one. He's tattooed this one. Converts his puck. Welcome back, everyone. They should just tattoo four putt on Foggy's forehead after this round. He's let yet another one slip away from him. The double bogey at number one was just a foregleam of what was to come. And after a seesaw battle, he finished one over on the front nine. He started out the back nine with another double bogey and could only manage an even back nine. That left him tied for 10th place at 11 under par for the tournament and at least he finished on the first page of the leaderboard. This has to be a little bit disappointing for him since it's two weeks in a row that he has let the lead slip away from him. Mark Warren at 18 under par and only a 3 under today is our tournament winner here at the AT&T Byron Nelson. And that brings us to Foggy's shot of the day. On the par 4 ninth hole, Foggy put it nicely in the middle of the fairway and with 107 yards in, grabs a sand wedge and lands the ball just over the bunker. With the dry greens, it rolls to within three and a half feet where he would clean up his birdie to go one over on the front nine. With the tournament being over now, let's take a look at some of Foggy's stats. All-time world ranking list. He's number one being chased by Rory McIlroy, Jason Day, and Ricky Fowler. He has a very comfortable lead in the FedEx Cup points over 10,000 points. And on the money list, he leads by just under $3 million at $6.7 million on tour. He adds another top 10 finish to his stats, but the average putts per hole suffered over the last two weeks. He still leads the driving distance category, but there has been a swap. Charles Swartzel is now ahead of Rory McIlroy. And he holds a slim lead over Rory McIlroy, Jason Day, and Chris Kirk for the average score category. Now with 16 tournaments underneath his belt, Foggy has hit kind of a dry spell with two weeks in a row where he wasn't in contention for the win. But nothing as bad as the Cadillac champion where the next week at the Arnold Palmer, he didn't even make the cut. Next, Foggy travels to Dublin, Ohio, and Jack's course, Muirfield Village Golf Club, to play the Memorial Tournament. 
Foggy needs to refocus himself after the disappointing losses here at the AT&T Bar and Nelson and the Players' Championship. And a nice place to do that will be at Jack's Tournament. Remember that if you enjoyed this video, leave a like so that others can enjoy it as well. And if you would like to be notified when there is a new one, subscribe by clicking on my icon at the end of the video. I've enjoyed and thank you for joining me for the AT&T Byron Nelson here at the TPC Four Seasons Resort Course in Irving, Texas. And I invite you to join me in my next episode for the Memorial Tournament in Dublin, Ohio. Until I see you at the house that Jack built, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone.